When creating business presentations, it easily happens that the slides that you come up with look like walls of text. When everything you write might be perfectly fine and correct, just the look of it is boring. It's not interesting. And for sure, this is not what you want for your professional presentations. So when I worked at McKinsey, we often like to talk about the look and feel of a slide. So independent of the content, what is the look and feel of what you are creating? So in today's video, I'm talking about how you can improve the look and feel of your presentation documents by using icons. So welcome to another coffee break here on my channel Firm Learning. My name is Heinrich and here on my channel I want to help you to become successful in the first years of your career. I want to start by saying thank you to Simple Slides, the sponsor of today's video. Simple Slides is a service offering slide templates and infographics. I use the service myself and can very much recommend it but more about that later in the video. So thank you for joining me in today's video. Grab yourself a cup of coffee as always. Today I'm just sticking to my water because it's already quite late in Germany but I hope that you are having a great time. So let's now look into a situation which I am facing pretty much every single day and this is I have a page like this. So this is a typical text page. In this example there is a company who looks into expanding into new geographies and new sectors. And now here you are summarizing all the opportunities that this company might have. So for instance, geographic expansion to new countries or sector expansion into new sectors. Now while all of this might be completely accurate, what I write here, somehow this page seems kind of dull. It seems kind of boring. It's pretty much just a wall of text. And while it's okay to have some pages like that in your document, you do want to make sure that not every page looks like this. And indeed a simple way that you can do to improve the look and feel of a slide like this is to use some icons, to add some icons to your page. And if you work for a large consulting firm, probably you have libraries of icons, libraries of little infographics to your disposal that you can use. But now for the average Joe and probably also for somebody not working in these typical consulting firms, the access to these kind of slide libraries is much more restricted and most companies just do not have something like this off the shelf. And of course what you can do is to go on Google and Google for some icons there in the picture search. But here of course the issue is that most of the material is copyright protected. So you cannot just use it for a professional context and just don't want to use it in your business presentations even if you're an employee because otherwise you might risk that your employer gets into serious trouble if you use these copyright protected pictures. So thankfully there's a service that I also use myself for my presentations and this service is called Simple Slides. Simple Slides is a library of slide templates and infographics that are at your disposal and if you get Simple Slides you can use all the material for whatever application you want so for business and commercial purposes as well. They have over 10,000 slides and infographics at your disposal and the library is constantly being updated. Also it doesn't matter what software you use so whether you use PowerPoint Google Slides or Keynote. They have material for all these software packages so you should be covered in either way. Simple Slides offers three different tiers. Personally I have the premium access which gives me access to all of their materials and all of future updates as well. And yes this is a lifetime access so for a one-off payment you can use it your whole life. This is how it looks like on the back end once you've opened an account and then here on Access Slides you have access to the search bar where you can look for whatever you want. So if we type in strategy, you get different results for that. If we type in marketing, you get different results for that. And all of these are search results leading to slide packages where then you can access many different infographics and slides that fit the individual theme. But now I'm looking for icons because I wanna add some icons to the PowerPoint presentation. So let's search for icons and you can directly see that several search results are popping up. So let's just start by looking into the vector icons and here they now offer a package of all kinds of vector icons that you can use for your presentation. So if we now download here the PowerPoint version, it pretty much looks like this. Now I've opened it here for you guys. This is now the package that you get. So about 14 pages full of different icon sets that you can use for your presentation, including also some word maps which you can use and then also use individual countries out of it. So let's now go back and prepare the page for adding some icons. So I'm duplicating the page now and let's first make some space. Our goal is to add the icons to the left here. So let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's move this 
to the right and now we have some space to add some icons here to the left. So first we have here two countries, Germany and France and here of course now it would make sense to get some country icons. So here now you can click in and select Germany to then get the icon for Germany. Now it's of course pretty gray. So let's color it in such a nice dark blue and we have the first one. Now let's add the equivalent for France. Let's insert it as well, color it. Now we have an icon for France. Let's make this a little bit smaller maybe. Now it looks good to me. Let's properly align it. Very nice. Now data analysis. So let's just look for what we could use for data analysis. Probably something like this makes a lot of sense. Let's color it as well. Now for express services, probably something like a delivery service or parcels or something like that. This one here looks good to me. Let's insert it as well. Let's color it. And probably now also another advantage of these types of infographics that you see here is that they are vector graphics. So this means that it doesn't matter how big they are, whatever the sizes that you need, they will never look out of resolution, right? Because the resolution automatically scales, which is of course very comfortable when working with them in different sizes. But let's make this smaller now, here we go. And let's now add this to the page as well. Next, mining services. So probably something with workshop tools would look nice. For instance, something like this. Let's add it, let's color it. Let's insert it and here we go. So now we have it. We have icons included in the page and I hope that you agree that now this looks a bit more interesting. It's a bit nicer to look at. The whole presentation looks a bit less dull if you do this. So in general, whenever you have some distinct elements of your page that you talk about, distinct buckets of things, this is usually always an opportunity to include some icons to make it a little bit more visually stimulating. What you should avoid though, what I see some people do is to only show the icons without the explaining text. So pretty much do something like this, just here the text and the icons. This is something I cannot recommend you to do because the problem is that icons often are not that self-explanatory. It often takes quite some time and mental energy to interpret what exactly this or this or this means and easily different people will have different opinions on that. There are only very few icons which are universally and interculturally accepted and recognized. So you Use this very carefully, use icons only to add to an existing name, but do not only rely on the power of icons. So when should you and when should you not use icons in your professional business presentations? And my general recommendation would be to use them, but to use them sparsely. So often a good way to use them is if you have some elements, some opportunities, some levers, some other buckets of things you have in your presentation that repeat throughout the slide deck. Because this way you can establish some icons in the beginning on some structure pages and to help the reader to make some connections among the different pages due to the repeating icons that you use. So applications like this, in my opinion, make a lot of sense because they improve the look and feel of the pages and they also have a valuable benefit for the reader. What you should avoid is completely spamming your presentation with icons. Of course, in these business presentations on almost every page, you will have an opportunity to, in theory, add a couple of icons to them. But if you add icons, icons to everything, they just become meaningless. And at some point it also looks very repetitive and also to some extent unprofessional and childish if you do that. Try to convey meaning via the icons, try to use them as a true value add for the reader. This is the sweet spot that you should really look out for when using icons in your presentations. I hope this was insightful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below in the comment section and I will do my very best to answer every single one. If you want to learn more about simple slides, I added a link to their service below in the video description. There you can sign up. What I also very much like about the service is that it's not one of these monthly subscriptions where you end up paying for it forever, but it's rather a one-time fee. So if you took any value out of this video at all, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to my channel for regular updates. If you want to see even more from me, I also have an Instagram channel with even more content. My Instagram handle is 
happening as well. And I also have an email list. There's a sign up link to that in the video description as well. I now want to take a moment to thank all the members of this channel, Firm Learning. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Without you, all of this would not be possible. And if you want to become a member as well and also benefit from some member only perks, there is a join button next to the subscribe button below. If you hit it, you get all the details, what it means, what all your benefits are and what you need to do. So thank you so much for your time. Very much appreciate it. Looking forward to next week's video as every week I will release a new video next Saturday. So until then, have a good weekend and bye bye.